it. What the fuck is up, you guys? Oh, there goes the. <laughs> there it goes. It's over. We just stop the recording and redo it. <laughs> no. Because I was going to ask you, we're, which which part are we on? We're on part 27. 20, 20, 27. 27. 27. It is 27. Okay. 27. Uh, yeah. Nagito is horrifically murdered. Dead. Dead, yeah. done, dying right. in a bag of a warehouse. I don't know why I kind of wow of words. But here we go. Now we got to investigate his body. Oh, my God. I have to read. Hold on. It hurts. It hurts. Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> and I'm feeling spread from the center of my brain almost instantly. Wow, this is you right now. Holy shit. I know. There oh, I go. Oh, wow. Nagito is dead. It just hit him. It took a full part to process. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. It took him seven days. Eh? Wah 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 I'm not getting mad. What? What is going on here? Uh, are you serious? Are you for real? Is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, right? I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's her point. That's right, it's Nagito. He always mess with us, he always try to confuse us. That's why I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. You just gotta keep showing the body, huh? <laughs> Nagito is dead. Bro, look at the millions of ways he could have died. <laughs> Deep down, I believed. When the killings finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. I never expected I'd be looking at Nagito's body like this. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I couldn't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagda couldn't escape that truth. But something even as small as that. I wish your dialogue was small. Hajime. You know what else is small on Hajime? A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain his, amount of time uh, has his passed... His talent. His, uh, yeah. Don't his reserve. tell me! The body discovery announcement. Then it's for real? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Then Nagito is really dead? Damn it! It's not just that he's dead. If the body discovery announcement was made, does that mean Nagito was killed? Killed? That's right! Plus, it's one of us. I mean, that's what it means, right? One of us killed Nagito? Oh my god. One of us killed him so brutally? <laughs> Finally! Wow, I'm in this video. Then it's going to start again. Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, right? Then. Of course! Yep, we gotta do it! We gotta find out who Nagito's killer is. Hey, hey. No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? Ching. Then the time for action is now! So allow me to give you the familiar Monokuma f. Right there, mister. Damn it! What? Don't get in my way like that. I was about to whip out the Monokuma file in such a cool way. Some goblin lickers. You stupid brother! <laughs> in what language is that? Tajik. Tajik? <laughs> From Tajikistan. Oh. Uh, I, that, that, you're crazy, I can't stand this anymore, Tagum. Got it? longer you're gonna keep putting them through this no more i won't let you i'll make sure i pulverize your intestines Whoa. hey hey say something i'm giving up on you oh now i remember who you are you're mon me it's eggs like <laughs> anyway mon me you're gonna talk about my intentions why don't you talk about yours first <laughs> what are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know? <laughs> what? No fair, you're shutting up too! Please wait! Thank God. <laughs> enough already. We're already e we have already dealt with enough with concerning... Nagito. What? <laughs> Please, do not say anything else that will confuse us. Oh God. 
Oh boy, new things to redeem. Oh god. Hey. Anyway, let's begin. Mm. Mm. This is just. I mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? That's what she said to uh, Hajime when they had to reproduce. As long as killing happens, oh, we don't Jesus. do anything about it, right? This is my least favorite one of the new ones, actually. Because I put it. <laughs> you, have to, you have to wear that mask. <laughs> Roy. Roy. Oh my god. Hold on, give me a Wait. What's the jingle associated with it? <laughs> Be Alone from Gambino. Oh my god. Because there's a line Kitsune. Bro, yeah. this, this is such oh. a pain in the ass to put on. <clears throat> wow. And the voice. <laughs> Bro. I'm going to put it on random. There we go. It's, it's not doing oh, random, right? Great. It's the same voice, uh, right? Uh huh. I don't know whose voice that is. Maybe it's Monami? Or not Monami. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, that face. Oh, absolutely. Hey, where is his glasses? He can't see with his glasses. I can go home to... Uh, I'm going to do this. You know what? It's easy to go to the What the fuck? To know if you ever can see. Jan needs some? My voice is already modified from the alcohol I drank last night, Shania. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I can't even read. Yeah, I, can't even I, I say this, I say this genuinely with all due respect, you've never looked stupider. The light bright jingle didn't even finish and eggs is like pink. Oh man. Yeah, while all this is happening, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and uh, you don't watch us on Twitch, uh, what are you doing with your life? You're missing out on, on all these shenanigans. <laughs> do you want do you, do you want to make Tony blind and have his voice modified to the point where you can't even understand what he's saying? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on YouTube? What the fuck? Tony was just attacked, bro. Eggs. Tony still has to read his line. <laughs> it's been, it's definitely been more than a minute. As long as the killing happens, we can do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Oh my God. Okay, uh, oh, the, bro, has it been hanging out of your left eye? It's supposed <laughs> to be the bandana that? that's supposed to block my right eye. You know, all right, because all right, that actually hurts more than just keeping my eyes closed. So I'm gonna keep my right eye closed. Besides, the it's mask our, is oh. ten minutes. Brutal. Yeah, this is brutal. <laughs> but the keeping my right eyes, right eye closed is uh five minutes. So how long has it been? Two. Besides, two. it's our fault that we couldn't even prevent it. Uh. I can't even drink my fucking coffee. <laughs> I know. That's the only way we can survive, right? Nice! Woohoo! Looks like you kids are way more well behaved than mommy. <laughs> Don't fuck with me! Don't fuck with me. We're tired of this, uh, too, you know. That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. This is kind of Ah, does that mean you guys are getting bored of this skull trick? Actually... Don't worry, the end is near! The end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You've already noticed it, right? <laughs> the meaning behind the Monokuma timer. Um, I guess there's only two days left, huh? Oh God! When's that? When that timer reaches zero, two days from now. Yeah, that's me. That's me. When that timer reaches zero, two days from now, what will happen to us? The Kelly school trip will be over. Hey, hey! If this will finally be over. Are you serious? Does that mean we can go home? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they've hatched. There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So. Once again. Monokuma file! That's a new word for pedo. 
You guys need to find out who killed Nagito and survive the class trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterword after Do all. Do your best. Wait! Hold on! I won't forgive you! I won't let you escape this time! Wait right there! Hmm. What do you guys think? If the school trip is nearly at an end, I it's safe don't. to think. I placed that one, sorry. Oh, you, bro. Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagito's case first. Damn it! Even if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. All right! Then let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so we can all go back home. However... My eye is killing me. It is nice to think everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean, someone in the room killed Nagito. There is a killer among us. I still think he killed himself. Uh, the weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true, but I can't take you seriously with that mask on. <laughs> was it really true this time? <laughs> no matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how stupid my co streamer looks. Because the victim was Nagito. Yes, I have a timer for the mask. No, I won't tell you how long it is. Because his death was so abnormally cruel. No, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. And whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. What? Hey, yeah. Hey! <laughs> Ooh! Whoa, what is this? Damn, we got fucking, we got Kitsukara on the guitar. That looks crazy, bro. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm fucking, I feel like I'm fucking co-streaming with, with my with, with my persona right now. <laughs> bro, you're gonna rip that mask off. You're gonna have Arsene pop up behind you. <laughs> bro, for five thousand dollars, don't you, but. Okay, in the future, whenever you fucking put that mask on, I'm going to refer to you as fucking Yusuke Kitagawa for the entire 10 minutes. Because you look like fucking Yusuke right now. Okay, random voice for me, but luckily all my characters are dead. <laughs> Hold on. First, I need to look at the Monokuma file. We're on solo. Uh, uh, I don't really know. Like, it, I mean, your voice is deep, but not as deep as last time. I like it. Bro, I can't even see the time. What is it, 10, 20, uh, 12, 23? Yeah. So that way you guys know I'm actually fucking blind at this level. So when it's, uh, 1224, let me know. Because the voice and the fucking tissue in my eye comes out. The body discovered inside the warehouse near the Monica Plus factory. Estimated TOD to be noon. Not only is a, a, a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. What a tragic situation. Just reading this is making me depressed. <laughs> is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? Hmm, again? But what's wrong with it? Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Okay, I can see better. Right. Furthermore, there is a last race on his left arm and a knife and tattoo right hand. Did I not read this right? Come on, man. Well, that's cheating. Uh, it's, it's definitely weird. <laughs> well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what investigation is for. Don't worry or form conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. Uh... Hold on, Tagnum sent me porn? What the fuck? <laughs> we can discuss it later. Right now is our only chance to investigate. So we should investigate. If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Then let's start with the area surrounding Nagato's body. Since the current blocked most of the water, this area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks to that, I can properly investigate Nagito's body. Body. Body to body. 
Yeah. Nagito likes his, oh, sorry, Hajime likes his dead body to dry. <laughs> um, I never thought I'd have to investigate Nagito's body. He probably didn't expect to end up like this either. How did it end up like oh. this? It was only a kiss. Oh. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Oh. Thank God for yeah, stream go. management. Free. Holy shit, okay. You are, you we gotta speed run all my speeches. Here we go. Do we even have to talk to these people? If only everyone could go home, nothing would make me happier. No, we should finish the class trial. Then we can think about what will happen after. Hey, yo, who was fucking that plus you, bro? You see that? That's crazy, there's a bleeding too. I never expected <laughs> Nagito to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. Also, he wasn't completely useless. <laughs> Sorry. Uses the other word that is a persona reference. I think it, anyways, Bro, every fucking the bad, word the. Yeah. All right. Oh, he committed suicide. We'll That's a persona saved. reference. We'll never be saved by him again. No, now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. I wanted to highlight his dead body. Yeah, his body looks fake. Where would you point at? Oh, both of Nagito's legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't have missed move at all. Where's the Monokuma file? The wounds on his legs are all stab wounds. Is that the killer? A lot of people didn't know that. Damn it! At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge on the uh, toilet. Or they might have been torturing him. Torture? Torture. Huh? I mean, if they wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? Body to body. I'm a fan of the music change. <laughs> uh, if he disregarded the spear in his chest, the other wounds were inflicted for a reason other than killing. Which means the wounds all over the his body were from the killing torturing him. I'm getting ready for it. If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nagito confess? Was it something that would have... I wonder if it was the, uh... Because he had that intel on who the traitor was. But uh, well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have held a deep grudge toward Nagito. Refusing to let him die easily, I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. You fucking Yakuza bitch. <laughs> but even if they held a grudge against him, wouldn't they... Would they have gone... Really gone this far? Look at his fucking body, dude. Marker wounds. Spear. A spear with a planchy ornament on it is impaled deeply into Nagito's stomach. Well, you know what's crazy? So that rope what? at the end of the spear and then that thing at the end of the rope is covered in blood. Where'd they put that? Oh no. There's no way yeah. around it. <laughs> that looks like the fatal wound. What's this? Oh my, what's this? Such a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends from the tip of the handle and there's an iron weight attached to it. I see, I see. You can use this cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this too? Of course not. Um, this is the spear of Gun Gear. Gun Gear, right? You definitely just came up with that now. Yeah. Hey, hey. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? I feel like I saw it at Nazumi Castle. What? what? Nazumi what Castle? The hell? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn you, mice! Damn you all to hell! Oh, I see. Even he doesn't know what's inside that castle. Well, even more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle. It looks like that part has blood on it, too. See? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, for some reason, this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. About the size of a human fist, it's strange that this section is a blood on it. Also, Kaki mentioned this earlier, but apparently this spear came from the Zubi castle. I might better if I confirm that later. Spear of Gung. Okay, I was going for his hand. Gung's wrist is tied with rope, but it looks like that tip of the rope burned off. Could it be a result of the fire? But that's weird. The rope is burned off like this. 
Why are Nagato's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? Burn rope. The knife is stabbed through Nagato's right hand. Did they go do this? How could they be so cruel? Um. This knife, it must be from the military base. Military base? Ah, now that you mention it, you're right. It looks like a survival knife. By the way, it seems the wounds on his legs and left arm were caused by that same knife. Which means, after the killer was finished stabbing Nagito's legs and left arm, they stabbed the knife through his right hand, it cannot be. and then they finished him off with a spear. How cool. How cool. In his mind, Hajime's like, I want to be finished off. Then <laughs> 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 does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons? Hey, yo. A knife and a spear? They could have just killed him by stabbing him with the knife. Why they need to use a spear at all? You are right. That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? A reason they had to use a spear, huh? Hey, yo, what do we need to look at? Oh, that counts as his feet? Yeah, okay. that's where you pointed out before, where I was like, what's <laughs> happening? There's a cut on his upper left arm. His legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. That's probably the reason the wound on his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to his other wounds. I mean, the other wounds literally have sharp objects going through them. <laughs> um, well, regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound, there's blood everywhere. Hmm, there's something strange. Strange? What? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think that blood is from when his left arm was sliced, but... Doesn't the blood splatter look strange? It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. I wonder if that's the hand he used to grab that rope where there's no blood. That's my guess right now. Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it splattered. Well, that would explain the blood on his palm, but... Hmm, there's something else that's strange? His yes, knees like... are weak. <laughs> when you flip it over and look at the back of his yeah. hand... There's also blood, but only above the middle joint of each finger. Damn. Bro, he cut a hole in the monokuma doll and just dipped his fingers in. Bro, he was... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh! In himself? In himself. <laughs> See, disgusting. it's just as I said, right? It's strange. Life? I win. <laughs> yeah, sure, you win. Now take your clothes off, Hachime. But it's definitely strange. Why did the killer... What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? Blood on the left hand. Not even close. Not even good. He must be. He must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. That doesn't really look like uh, agony. That looks like uh, orgasm. That look. <laughs> it looks. I mean, I wouldn't call it orgasm, but it looks more orgasm than agony. I'll say that. <laughs> It's something in his between. Is, <laughs> his mouth is covered with duct tape. Was this to keep Nagda from screaming for help? No, it's to keep him from screaming in pleasure. That's what... I was about to make the same joke. Jeez, what a horny look on his face. The blood splatter all over doesn't help either. <laughs> it's good That's thing not his mouth is covered with. <laughs> it's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to look at him. <laughs> ah, got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. Kaku moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted <laughs> down on Nagisu's face. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you don't move? And in one... Oh, it's you. And in one swift moment, she ripped the duct tape off of his mouth. Hey, what are you doing? I'm finishing the job. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, well, that's kind of mean. Putting the tape back isn't the issue, you ungrateful swine. You're gonna get cussed. Cussed? Cussed. Ah, the blood on Nagito's face. It looks like it mostly came from the slice on his left arm. Hmm, if that's mm. the case. It's no use, he's not listening. Hey, about the blood splattered on his face. There's no blood under the duct tape. Huh? What's wrong with that? This duct tape has crinkles, like it was sticking toward the inside of his mouth, right? Nagito was probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. Seriously, what's wrong with that? He was licking the duct tape. 
in his mouth because his mouth was covered with duct tape before he got those wounds all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. What's wrong with that? Is that something we really need to worry about? I don't really get it, but just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue too. I still remember it. Horny Nagito. I guess I'm done with the area. I can't believe I'm actually... can't believe I actually investigated such a grizzly body, whatever. Even I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body right in front of me and one of my peers is the killer responsible. I have to investigate his death so I can find his killer. Am I used to something as a normal? I mean, this is like, what, number four, number five? I don't mean I'm becoming abnormal, too. Yeah. I mean, Hajime is the most normal of everyone here, so... Level up! Looks like she's deep in thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Yeah, about that sprinkler. That's one of the sprinkler heads that activated to put out the fire. You can see a girder right next to it, right? There. Can you see that red streak? Huh? Interesting. You're right, I definitely see it. It's like a small red line on the ceiling girder. Is that... Blood! 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 The color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's in a straight line. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. I should remember this. Okay, Clementine. I'm only laughing, I'm only laughing because when you said it's, it's not blood. <laughs> yeah, it's... It, look at... Hold on. From here? Yeah, he, he, he climaxed yeah. straight up right here. Yeah, straight up, yeah. yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. But that was his real ultimate ability. He was the ultimate <laughs> vertical shot. Um, Madakum is dead. There's blood coming out of his stomach. Is that not blood either? Yeah. Hey, hey. No response. He's dead, Jim. Yeah. Just kidding. I'm not dead. Is this one of the life-size plushies that were being produced at this factory? <laughs> if you're mistaking a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal, too. Hey! Don't put oversized garbage there. It's so misleading. What the heck? What are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Then why'd he do it? Making a hole like he got stabbed and going to the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood? What? Did he try to imitate Nagito's body or something? What are you saying? I had nothing to do with that. Huh? You're so evil. He's probably lying. Seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like that plushie over there. What's this? You seem more pissed than usual these days, Monami. But you better watch what you say. If I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know? I... <laughs> I won't give in to your threats. I'll fight you until the very end. I can't lose. I will definitely take back the seat of world supremacy from Monazuka. Looks like those annoyances are gone. Yeah, I need water. Holy shit. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, then who did this? Could the killer have done this? If so, is this Nagito's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. <laughs> ah, this is... It's an oil lighter. This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here... Just kidding. Ah, an oil lighter. Someone probably wanted Why to keep warm. It's the most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause well? of the fire. Oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Which means? So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Oh, using the oil lighter, huh? Do you think the killer set up some sort of trick with it? You are right. The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting the warehouse on fire. They caused the fire to destroy evidence. That's the only reason I can think of why Killer would set fire to their crime scene, but... 
Oh, you want to Uh. Like, who wants a plastic bottle? Like, Alright, well, yeah, we know that, yeah. Yeah, when we threw shit. There's yeah. five yeah. grenades. I'm just gonna skip this part, because we know yeah, this part. Yeah. Yes. If only everyone could go home, nothing would make me happy. I should investigate here a little bit more. Well, we just gotta talk to everybody? What the fuck? There's really nothing else to... Right? I don't think there's anything else. Alright, so we gotta I'll talk, talk to so. everybody. Um... It, it mattered matter for Gundam. Oh, yeah, that's not me. Fuck. <laughs> it mattered for Gundam's killing and for Mekons. But it looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What doesn't matter? The time. It looks like the time doesn't matter. It's clearly written in the Monokuma file. The time of death was mean sharp. That's not the body. If it was at noon, what were we doing at that time? Bro, what the fuck? What were we doing? Well, right now it's... Do it. Also has a clock function. And that means Naito died 30 minutes ago. Huh? It happened that recently? He's a totally fresh kill. Fresh, that seems like a bad way to describe it. If it happened 30 minutes ago, was it around the time we were struggling with the bombs? You're right. Those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at the noon. Which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is Nagito's killer. But this could be like when Nekamaru died, the killer could have used some kind of uh, automatic setup. Also, the crime scene looks very detailed, so they would have needed time to prepare. Right. Then whoever doesn't have an alibi before we found the bomb is suspicious. Huh? Wait, none of us have an alibi for that time. That's when we all split up to search for the bombs. Yeah, that's the problem. Now then, I guess that's not investigated. And killing gold wasn't just killing Nagito, there should have been another video as well. If not, they wouldn't have gone to the trouble of tying him with rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, there's no reason to inflict any wounds other than a panel one. So what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate the other areas to figure that out. Alright, I try investigating the other areas inside the warehouse first. Okay, so we pulled back. Lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. The panel near the curtain in the back is tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? But why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here. Because you guys did a. Never mind. <laughs> they should have been neatly put away. Let me. <laughs> Maybe we're the one. Okay, so she's gonna say it. Yeah. Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Huh? Look, the tipped over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason these panels are tipped over is. Because they did a domino effect when they, you know, threw the door open. Right. Yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. That is all line uh, dialogue before. I think, yeah. Right? yeah. Could it be? Was that it? And there's something else I've been wondering. These Monokuma panels are tipped over starting from the entrance to the back, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, that line is the only one that's me in order. Isn't this clearly strange? Strange, that means. We can speculate this was done intentionally. Yeah. Monokuma panels. No. Okay. MP3 player. This is an MP3 player, why is this here? Maybe. It looks like oh, fuck. Then why would they show him? <laughs> looks like that weird music was playing from there. Hmm. You know, that music was blaming was blaring when the fire started. The music was blaming. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It looks like it's busted from getting drenched by the sprinklers. There's no mistaking it, that music was playing from that MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but why was the killer playing music from this? He was trying to play that Chris Brown Brown album a week early. <laughs> 
Are we done here? What? Looks like Sony's folks on investigating the warehouse. Which reminds me, there's something I need to ask her about. Now that you're pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey, Sony, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I want to talk to you about that fake bomb Nagato set in the warehouse. Huh? That set in the warehouse that exploded. Uh -huh. Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It is all right. It's not a bomb. It's renewed. <laughs> Why did you know the bombs were a fake? Um, um, well... That, that's not all either. When we were looking for the bombs, I worked at the military base. I thought you were supposed to be searching the Central Island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Oh my! It cannot be! Do you... do you suspect me? It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Jesus! Shit! You son of a bitch! Oh yeah? I am sorry! I am terribly sorry. I was panicking. I shall calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Uh. Well? At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone, so I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean you, when you heard Nagato planted bombs, you got to, to investigate them? And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered. Please listen! And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagito brought were from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. How did you find out that the bombs were fake at the military base? Because I attempted to use one of them on myself. You fucking terrorist. What? I put it in my mouth and pulled the trigger. <laughs> I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real, and I thought I could use one of them to gain in entrance to the ancient ruin. Pew. However, that, that plan was... was an failure. Excuse me, princess. Look at Monami in the background. Yeah. God damn it all to hell! Jesus shit, you son of a bitch! So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeping at Secret. the bomb. Secret, bro. We couldn't see her. Which means? If those bombs were the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagito took them. That is why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think it was strange when Nagito blew up the hotel lobby. That bomb was real and I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that might have been Nagito's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he set were real. If so, then Nagito's actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is his reason for doing it. With that, I have explained Wait everything. There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. I have now convinced you, you are an idiot. Alright, I pretty much finished looking for clues inside the where the warehouse, excuse me. I was able to find cl some clues, but there are still so many things I don't understand yet. Oh. Hold it. You look worried. Yeah, I am. Well, our son. At a time like this, I might be good if it might be good if you brought in your investigation range. You mean it's good to investigate other places as well? She might be right. There are several things: military base, plushy factory, Mizumi Castle, and Nagito's room. I'm going to understand the reason for his actions. I need to know more about him. We know too much about him. That's the problem. I'm pretty sure the others have already finished Can investigating. You hey you guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too? In response to Chiaki, the others gathered around her. I agree. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems we had the same idea. But is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have a choice. There just aren't enough of us. Besides, we've investigated all we can here. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to piece this incident together, so we need to search for them in other areas probably. Well, alternatively, if there aren't any clues in other areas either, we'd have to give up completely. You don't really need to say that. Hey! hey. Oh, I thought that was me. Then it's okay if we leave this place? I think she's my last female character now, right? Yes. 
Yeah. It's like keep forgetting. I figure I, I keep thinking I'm all boys club. Bro, I, yeah, I, that's they're, why they're I started voicing her because I was like, I at this point I'm all girls club except for Monokuma. <laughs> uh, in order to survive, there's no other way except to do it. In order to survive, you need to find Nagito's killer. In order to survive, you need to shut the fuck up and stop saying it ten different ways. <laughs> that's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Okay, so we don't need to go to. No, no. We're done here. Um, Where where we have to go next? Uh, the military base? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this way. Jab her cock army. <laughs> Jab her what? Don't worry about it, bro. That's not the button I meant to press. I meant to check on Snake on me. Snake on, on me. Snake on me. Bro, how is that? How is that snake shitting in the toilet? Let's give it an un un. Horn? It's close. It loves you. Did it get another heart? I can't tell. Uh, who gives who a fuck? Alright, uh. Well, she was looking at this. The thing that looks like it has two Terminators in the back. You should probably have guns and other firearms or stuff into the bed truck. Bed truck. It's <laughs> fucking bad. Holy shit. I found it. What did you find? Well, that truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like a survival knife. Wait, that's isn't that the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nagito's right hand? Maybe. Which means the killer obtained that knife here. Oh, uh, right. Don't know if I jumped to that conclusion, but right, you can get sure. it at the supermarket, probably. Yeah, that's everyone though. <laughs> No, not me. This is the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. Technically, he's not wrong because it is the first time we've seen him there. That is okay. true. Man. Damn it. This place, uh, this dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Hey! Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. It's easy to say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. There's still be things here that I need to confirm. When I tried looking through the truck bed, it's empty, there's nothing here. I first came here, there was something on the truck bed which was going to be Oh. Bombs have disappeared. But did I know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. No, never mind. He said as much in his video message. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Yeah. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No, is that really it? Did not to only do that? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. You must do it? Oh, no. Are you here? All right, now we're done. Do? Now we're done here. The pitter patter of his feet is fucking hilarious <laughs> to me. Where is it? Oh, okay. okay, I want to. I want to start a, a, a bet with the chat or a poll with the chat. Over under two and a half streams that Tony keeps this <laughs> keeps this fucking uh, what, what do you call it? reward? In stream, bro. I almost changed it yesterday when Road did it. Oh my god! Look at this fucking toddler standing in front of the door. The spear with the flashy ornament on it is hanging from the wall. The spirit is definitely it, right? I see. Just as I thought, it looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. Bro, the thing that. So. Hold also. On. What's up? The thing that. So, this mask doesn't come with a string, so I made a string. It just broke. Okay. <laughs> Did it? The string just broke, so, uh. 
I'm just gonna put the mask. I'm gonna hold the mask to my face. Uh, keep reading. Okay. Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. Hmm. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gungir, huh? Monokuma would totally call it a lame name like that. Why did the killer use a spear and knife? Well, yeah. Yeah, they could have just killed him with the knife and it would have been easier too. There's no way a spear with this unnecessary cord thing on it would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. What? But still, why would they choose, uh, why they chose, hold on. It's still they chose a spear for a reason. Why? Why, why, why? Bro, alcohol affects reading comprehension, oh my god. <laughs> the killer must have taken the spear from here. A spear like that isn't convenient at all, and it would have been a pain to carry around. So why did they bother using it in the first place? I see. Maybe the spear was actually used for torture, too. Torture, huh? Bro, this man wants to be tortured. Torture me, darling. Torture me. Hajime's like, I'll take a knife to my palm if you pleasure my spear, whatever the fuck they say uh, happened to him. Finish him off with the spear to start kind of uh, pleasure my spear. Right. That's where I want to go. Nagito's room. Oh yeah. Oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> I'm annoyed. What happened? I'm annoyed. What are you annoyed about? This is a real spitting game. I want to investigate Nagito's cottage, but I'm annoyed. Mmm, I'm annoyed. I don't really understand, but you can't investigate Nagito's... I want to say college. Cottage? Maybe I should try investigating Nagito's cottage. <laughs> he dies. Clatter, clatter, huh? It's locked. Apparently. We can't go inside thanks to that. I'm annoyed. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna investigate another area. What are you gonna do? Be annoyed? I'll go look for Monokuma. He might open it for us. Then let me know when we can go inside. Yep. Where the fuck else are we supposed to go then? Uh, plus the factory or no? Is that not the matter? Let's see. Is it? It, was, it wouldn't let us leave if there was more, would it? I don't think so. No, because it didn't let us leave Jabberwock. Right. Yeah, even the military base, it wouldn't... Yeah. Hold on, let me... I guess we do have to go. I think so. I don't think there's anything in there. Unless we gotta talk to Sony again after going to the military base? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Probably. Just be like, you were right. I believe you now. Son of a bitch. Where the fuck is she? Sonya, what never mind. That's so weird. My. I have never seen so many Monokumas in my life. We were here earlier. But uh, <laughs> well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. However, I was... While I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. That was a long yeah. thought. Oh, I'm now seeing Kazuichi's body over here. Hold on. <laughs> no, because your, uh, your face is in the way. Oh! <laughs> okay. That's amazing. Someone put that. <laughs> huh? Do you have a minute? If you hide the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing. A plushy bomb is an act of terrorism. Right. Let us rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Hold on. If there was a bomb inside these, wouldn't it explode if we killed the mess with it? Either way, it is all gravy. All gravy? What does that mean? Enough already. 
Bob! There's no Bob! You'll know if you just pick me up, see? All you'll feel is a soft weight of cotton. I see. Hmm, you are right. Then where did Nagito obtain the bomb he used? Who knows? I wonder. If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fake. I know that already. You should have said that earlier. I think, uh, didn't they say in the, uh, in the dead room? No. Didn't they literally so. say that? Well, I, I so. thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's what I'm just telling you now for the first time. Phew, I feel relieved. But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then he brought it from the octagon. They said that already. Well, I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonya. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. We should have done that in the first game. <laughs> Did I say something I should not have? It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now I think, now we can go. I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. You're tired because you have nothing going for you in life. That's why. You're just purposeless. As if Naito is trying to make us suffer even after he's died. Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. All right, let's go. Nominos. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, so now we can go there. Right. I guess. Okay. Wait. Uh, okay. okay. Nice. Sorry, I was just uh, rearranging stuff on OBS. All right. Don't worry, you're good. I'm annoyed. Eight minutes left on this fucking ass. Eight minutes? I thought it was ten minutes. I mean, two minutes left. We're at eight minutes. So now it won't let me fast travel to- okay. Good, hot stuff. What's this? Oh my, you wanna go inside Nagito's room too? Hajime. Oh, Hajime. What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's cottage. Because she really needs it for the class trial. She begged me to do while she was licking my black eye. You what? I didn't do that. I licked his balls. Then do it! It's sweet, because it's made out of black beans! Oh my god. Big black beans are sweet? Uh, hey, we didn't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Hey. Fine, fine. I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? <laughs> now then. What? See, I open the door. You can freely investigate now. This isn't my first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? Maybe the cottage key is computerized. I was gonna say cottage hey, hey. keys. More importantly, let's go inside now that the door is open. Yeah, you're right. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. But, there you go. I'm free. Hey, look at that. So Nagito is living here. Well, don't see anything important here. I guess we can leave. I guess, yeah. Nothing stands out to me. What was he thinking inside this room? Was he feeling as spent? What was he feeling as he spent his days here? Why are we internally monologuing while there's like a fucking shiny <clears throat> treasure chest in the background? I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope, becoming despair. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't understand you at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. What changed them? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. Bro, the whole time, Kaki's looking at him like, why the fuck is he not moving? 
Ew, why is it no. sweaty, bro? We got all of them. For this chapter. Hey, First time nice. ever. Heck yeah, dude. There's a lot of books around here. Did Nocto bring this from the library? This into the books is a bunch of random crap stuff onto the shelf. It might take a lot of time for us to thoroughly go through that stuff. Okay. Let's just leave it for last. Yeah, I agree. My bad. Alright, let's just go to the treasure box. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Could this be? We stole hood. Yes. card. That treasure Damn. box. Chonky, you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monami stole a treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monami was talking about was Nagito. But why would Nagito steal this? What did Nagito want with Monami's box? <laughs> it might be good to see what's inside. A magical pink box. Oh what my god. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. Even Shania is shocked. Nagito thought he had the the, uh, the right key for the keyhole. <laughs> what is this, uh, Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. Nothing was simple and clean about that, let me tell you. can't see without his glasses. Where's that fucking jingle? <laughs> that jingle is the best jingle of any of them, bro. Do you know what that is? No, what is that from? It's from that movie uh, where he gets... The where um, Macaulay Culkin gets killed by the bees, and he's in... Oh my god! Where's his glasses? He can't see without his glasses! Yeah, that's... That, that... is so neat. I love that. That's Bro, so good. I was... <laughs> that one I went dark with. So now that's you... great. Now you know I really can't see. Jan that's knows right. for a fact I really can't see. Yeah, I tried toning glasses on on Monday when we were all at a bar together. I still am struggling to see from my eye. Bro, he got drunk from that. I, I'm still recovering. Okay, so... It might be, but this is some kind of clue, you know. Hey... That's his Palix, right? Palix, hello, brought one friend. Palix, what's hey, up? Hey, Palix. We appreciate you. Raid. Salute to you, sir. Uh, Raid. We appreciate what did, what you, did brother. What did Tagnum say? Was it that bad? Yes. It was, it was terrible. Bro, Tag, Tag you've awful. never... Well, yeah, Tag's never put my glasses on, I guess. Okay. If this wasn't important, Nagato wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. I turned back toward the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside, there was a notebook. This is it. Why is it... Why is the notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? Took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. I never heard that as a fucking verb before. Yeah. Leafing? Yeah. You know, hey, leafing. sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children and entities that look like chicken scratch. I'm able to read everything very clearly there. Uh, Jim, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I was about. able to talk to everybody for the first time today. Even I could read that. I can't read chat, yeah. but I could read that. Okay. Uh, oh my god, it's person. the shiny Monomy special collector's card. That's right. <laughs> Also, See? shout out to my son, Palix. He decided to be adopted by me, not you. Biakia you is the right. leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. What is this, a diary? Um, looks like looks like it. Did Monami write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five. Page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16. We've, We've been, been in the, the fun house final. for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go in the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Huh? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? No, it's nothing. Or, oh, it's nothing. Stop it! Wait. Ah. Hey, stop it! Whoa! From out of nowhere, that stupid bunny appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I won't forgive you! I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Geez, that was close. If I'd come any later, you would have seen the inside of the notebook. Unfortunately, you were a little too late. 
But if this notebook is here, then Nagi don't want to know. Betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved stick. Hey, hey. hey, that notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? Diary? Um, um it seems that way. That's right. This is my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written. Hey! Hey, hey, you're a liar! Uh, you always show up out of nowhere! Who are you? Come on, I mean, it's not good to lie, you know. Lie? <laughs> There's no way you wrote in that notebook. Yeah! After all, Mommy can't even write! Huh? What are you saying? Jeez, I can write letters easily! I can no finally fingers. write the letter B! That's wrong! There you oh, go. you can't! Because you have no fingers on your hands! <laughs> See, Bullseye? I know, because I'm the same way too! What, what? Huh? Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? Hey, hey! So that's what this is about. You... You're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. It looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but is what Monokuma said true? Hmm? Huh? He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? If so, who wrote um, it? Um... Well, you know, it's, um... How should I put it? Excuse me! Hold on. Damn it, she totally ran away again. Yep. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try to get answers from her. But still, I really wanted to ask her about the notebook. Oh. Well, actually... It might be better that I didn't ask her. Um, notebook. Okay, wow. I spent a lot of time with that. I know. There's a refrigerator. Huh? Nice. My cottage doesn't have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. <laughs> Not even a problem supplied it himself. Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? The talk to Chianke opened the refrigerator. What the fuck? There really isn't much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Well, that's mm. your line now. Sorry, my bad. For someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he's stuck very much. We're just gonna ignore the poison until three sentences from now. That's the uh, I was about to say that. But that bad. bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? It really looks like some kind of... Please, please taste that protein powder, bro. See what happens for you. See what happens. Yeah, bro, it's muscle milk. Exactly. Read. I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started boofing it. What did I say? We made for After three lines. <laughs> poisoning someone to death. Hey, this is... Yeah, you finally realize it's fucking poison. I was hoping you would drink it. Poison? <gasps> Looks like there's a warning label everywhere on the bottle. Let's examine it in a little more detail. Bro, I love that it says for poisoning use only. <laughs> The fuck? But As opposed to what else? Be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. Just stop it. If you worry like that, I'm gonna get nervous. Oh my god. <laughs> I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back. How are you gonna read it if your hands tremble? Drugging the bottle up. <laughs> poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle it with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Mmm. Mm, interesting. In a gaseous state, it's heavier than air, it breaks down in minutes, and it's susceptible to hydrolysis. So it's possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. This shirt does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagato get something like this? That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel, too. Fly to the bomb. There should be a reason Nagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the funhouse. Yeah, the octagon had a refrigerator, too. For the it's poison. poison. 
he must have brought it with him from there too, right? Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the glass class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial? <sighs> Jeez, how dangerous. What would he have done if he accidentally <clears throat> tripped and- Wow. And broke the bottle. Oh my god. What, what is this thinking about? It scares me. It does not hey, sound hey. like Chiaki. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. What about this poison? Huh? See? It looks yeah, like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like this from the beginning, or did Nanito use it? If so, where did he use it? I wonder if there's still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet. She sounds possessed, she does. Another trap? Oh, it's the engine sound effect. Demon. <laughs> For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using his poison before he died. If it actually exists, it'd be really bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Suffer, baby. Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? Bro, I'm suffering with these lines. Nagi uh, not Nagito. Bro, Hajime has become worse than Makoto in my eyes. He's actually what? becoming worse. Like, at least I could, you know, you know, stomach his lines. Okay. I forgot that the random voice is only one minute. It's the bed that comes with the cottages. It just looks like the one in my room, but... Hey, hey. Hey, it looks like... Never mind. Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's a, a, a usual place for hiding things. It's a pee. Yeah, like porn. I was... Oh, we should still check just in case. Oh, I was gonna make a sex joke. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, looks like Nagito's no had sex in this bed. That's why it's different from yours. I peeked into the bed and, hmm, there's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. <laughs> What's this? Sex stuff. These look like the real deal. Did he get these from the military base? A gas mask and rubber gloves. He's hiding these under his bed. What is Nagita use these for? Handling the poison, dumb fuck. Let's see. He's under the bed once again. I started looking around the area when I found the seed marker bag and there's a small piece of paper on the floor. Piece of paper made of blue aluminum. A round thin piece of aluminum, huh? It's similar to those seals yeah. that go over jars of unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. Who knows? Might be too soon to decide that. Piece of blue paper. Now can we check the bookshelf? There's a lot of books. The genres and types of items all over the place, yada. Yeah. They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Who's they? I definitely don't know who they are. And I also don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. What should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these files. That doesn't mean we should ignore it though. Yep. I'll leave it to you. Wait, what? It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be some dildos in there. Well, that might be true, but... So, I'll leave this shelf to you. I think I'd stop afraid to do this without realizing it. I sighed and walked towards the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items, examining each one, but even as I examined them carefully, there were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Oh, Magically. shit! Well, that's. Wow, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that was. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Nyanga said this only contained information about me, but. Is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. It might be another one of his lies, too. I opened the file and held my hand. I opened the file and held my hand to confirm it. Instead, I realized something was strange. If this really has only my information, then why is the file so thick? Every page just says useless on it. <laughs> Nani? As soon as I opened it, it was clearly clear to me. Just like I thought Nagi said lied to me. Of my information, there was information about the others Kazuichi, Fuyuko, Okane, and Sonia. 
and everyone who died. The pages of information about them too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe you'd make up such a strange lie. That means the rest of it might be a lie too. Turns out the page containing my information began reading through the content. The file contained basic information in terms of my date, height, or my date of birth, height, weight, and so forth. There's one thing that specifically caught my eye. The word was the word useless. <laughs> There's no denying it. They confirmed that I truly was useless from the useless department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why am I the only one here who's from the reserve department? Why am I here with all the other alternates? Hey, hey. Hachime, did something happen? I'm useless. I just found a strange file. <gasps> Isn't that the special prize Nagito received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. The profiles of everyone on this island are in here too. Nagito is lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Haki leaned against me and peered into the file. You're right. My, my profile, profile would... is really in here, but unfortunately, <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any detail. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. And it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Ah, hold on. Huh? What happened? I just noticed it right now, but... The file! His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Look carefully. Mm. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. No way! So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps based on that, you think he might be the traitor? No, it's not just because the name isn't written in here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life at Hope Speak Academy, right? For someone like Kim to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. I don't think he's a traitor. I think if he was a traitor, he wouldn't have died immediately. Well, it pains me to say this, but... What you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life is totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. A different reason? You're getting all How should I put up. this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Biakia for no reason. Which means the great mystery that you think that surrounds that Biakia doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? So I get froze for a second. Oh, I think we're back. You don't have to ask me that. You'd know the answer just by looking through those profiles, right? Huh? My eyes turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. And suddenly I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks could be barely considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter. That's that Biakia's true identity. True identity. He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny Biakia Tagami. Oh shit, a fake. That's right. Hey, um... The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his age and gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent. <laughs> Though I'm not jealous of that at all. 
That person wasn't really Byakuya Tagami? Perhaps. Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school so life? Oh, cool! Boo his physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Then he was lying to us the whole but time? Still. But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? Oh. Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your life, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent, regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a little more liberating. What the hell? Anyway... I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do That's with. That's right! So I'll tell you straight up, this revelation about Byakuya is exactly the truth. Then... What was he trying to say to me at that time? I cannot talk to the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn? For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Based on that context, if I had to guess, no, no. maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud? Mm. But if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. But since you guys went to Oak's Peak Academy, you should have known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to memory yeah. loss. Jeez, the Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course! Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find out. So it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey, um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm. I mean, the traitor is a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Host Peak Academy. You made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? Correct! It wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor is so easily, right? Hey, hey. Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito too, right? Hmm. Well, probably. Interesting. Weird way to just end that. <laughs> it's yeah. dripping with despair, isn't it? Ew. You wasted your precious time on something that Are isn't a clue. Sure was that a wise decision? Time's up, you know. Time's up, Bye. wait. Excuse me for a moment. Ding dong, bing bong. That chime just now. Ahem. See you soon, fuckos. <laughs> the last class trial. He said that, right? He said last class trial. You know what's the good oh, thing about shit. skipping dialogue? Uh, what? They're gonna repeat the dialogue three more times anyway. Yep. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. <laughs> what do you think? Should we believe him? Uh, about what? It being the last class trial? The last what? <laughs> Monokuma <laughs> seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? He said something about the cooling... <laughs> 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 just go, bro. Just <laughs> based on the time limit, this might definitely be the last one. But still. But I can't imagine that it's the real end. The real end of what? The end of it all. <laughs> the last class trial. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. His real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Fuck, what was her name? Uh... The 16th student at Host Peak Academy. Oh, uh, Mukuro Ikasaba. Mukuro Ikasaba. The ultimate despair. <laughs> I think I said that a lot. I think I did. Yeah, maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once. Well... But still, it's also not a good idea to think about it too much. Wow. God damn! I think we should focus on the cloud trial that's waiting for us first. Oh my god, you're right. Bonnie. That's what it's called. Last trial for Nagito's murder. 
Might as well change the voice. You're right. We're, we are pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. I still can't see who killed Nagito. But still. Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting so long, you know. You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. If we do that, things will turn out just fine. Wow. Okay. Like the is Jabbercock. So that boy moving. Damn right. That boy moving. Looks like it. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? The gang's all here. Uh, City Swans by reference. Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Stop it! You're making me depressed. Stupid fool. You're making me depressed. I you still swimming? <laughs> so, it is going to happen again. The cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through this, we can go back, right? That's right. And Monocle Bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. Damn it. But they've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Bro, I like this Kitsune mask, though. Of That's course all not. Tony needs. From Jor Ross. Shout out Jor Ross. Like, can you believe it? The guy who's making us do this all out, you know, uh, do right? all this at once said it. That's why I'll definitely survive. If we can really go home after we deal with this class trial, I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what. Oh my god. You. What the fuck? Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet? That feeling of wanting to leave this island. Thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. Stop trying to jinx us. I'll pick you up! Damn right. Bad Bunny should just shut up. Everyone, you must have run away from despair. Huh? I have finally realized. After losing my powers, I've realized that cursing your powerlessness or your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it in order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight! Huh? What's her deal? Um... What's her deal? I do not really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait. Uh, but her eyes, she looks so determined. Ooh. What can you tell us by looking at those button eyes? Uh. Anyway, make sure you turn off Mini Mario. It'd be annoying if you started talking during the trial. Huh. But still. Oh, fine. Somehow, I understand what Monami is saying, I think. Anyway, let's get going to the last yep. class trial. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. Alright, we're gonna go down to Elevator of Despair. Rawr! XD! To the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma's cock. Oh my god. Bro, how long was this episode? An hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's elevator ride. This will be the last time for this too, right? Well... I hope so. Let's worry about things after we're finished. You are right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Dog. You know what's crazy? Damn. What the fuck? This is taking forever. The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is gonna go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Um, Nagito was problematic in many ways. He was canceled, but he was also a valuable <laughs> asset during the trials. 
Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, you were completely dependent on him. But even if he's gone, the ones who survive need to stand and fight. We must fight for our right. The party. Uh, yeah. And then the door slowly opened. You know, it's funny. Someone's gonna randomly come in here. Like, why is this asshole wearing a mask? <laughs> right, like greeting us. Is that the light of hope? Or oh the light my of despair? god. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Well then, now that that chatterbox Nagito is gone, there are only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Enough to start this. Hey! I read that has just start this fucking already. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the fucking, the fucking. Hey, hey, this isn't it, right? This is really the last class yep. trial, right? Yep, it sure is. <laughs> So you gotta show some enthusiasm. Make sure you give it your all. Oh, all right. Son of a bitch. Didn't I tell you? He said it. This is the end. Now then. Now then, let's get this trial started. Viva killing! This is the last class trial. Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other in the fucking. This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. That curtain is about to rise. Oh my god. Nagito Kameda, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. <laughs> <laughs> but his true nature held such a demented thought process that was nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would never help, even help despair just to prove hope will never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. <laughs> Thinking was completely screwed up. But there was also times he saved us too. My God. Someone like him was killed. Someone like him. That was the end of him. All right, you and your fucking monologues, bro. I have no idea at all who did it, but... It was one of us. There's no way we can end this without knowing. Why am I holding the mask? Because the string that I put on, it broke. So now I'm stuck holding it for ten fucking minutes. That's why we absolutely have to find out. The person who finished off Nagito. Who no, sucked off Nagito, off bro? The killer who murdered now, he said he had to get it correct himself. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. Is it though? And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair, the last one, has begun. Yeah. Holy shit. Alright, that was part 27. Oh my god, awesome. Say, uh, okay, so. Well, now I can take the mask off. Because it's been 10 minutes. Now it gets complicated, right? Who's the killer? Bro, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think it's. I mean, I said suicide last time, and I still feel like there's gonna be some sort of suicide with this. Okay. I just don't know how. Like, we're gonna be able to prove that. Like, I just don't know who could have killed him, you know? Like, like I don't think it's Kazuichi, I don't think it's... But I'm, trying think, I'm trying to think who would be... Who would be worthy of killing Nagito? Okay. And the only character that would make sense to me is fucking Hajime. <laughs> That's the only character. For the final trial, sense. if it's supposed yeah, to be Yeah, for the final trial, trial. yeah. Right. It was like that. I mean, that would be really cool if they ever did that, like in a Dongan series. Again, I have no idea how Dongan three plays out, or if Nagato actually is end up. You know, I, I mean, he's not killed by Hajime. I'm very confident he's not. But you know, that would be a very interesting plot twist if, that, if that's like how the game ends. You know. Right. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I have. I mean, I just. I'm gonna stick with, with with my guns. I just feel like somehow, like. It was a suicide or something like that. I don't know how I can explain all those spears and shit. 
being propelled into his body. There's a um, lot of interesting clues that we have got. Uh, so, a lot. Yeah. I know, it was almost like brain overload. I kind of want to see how the trial plays out and then maybe I'll piece things together as we go. Yeah, because um, this is going to be a complicated... Um, I mean, I'm sure it's because... Complicated it's, trial. It's, it's Nagito's death, of course. Like, yeah. It's not going to be easy. Um, so. But yeah, I guess part... Well, pro probably part 28 and 29, depending on if there's an intermission on this last one. They're probably, I assume there is. There's, there's been an intermission is, right? on yeah. every other one, so. Um, exactly. Yeah there, yeah, there is. So, we'll see about part 28 and 29, but for now, that was part 27.